Chapter 1. You can affect the change you want to see in the world, no matter who you are. If you look around, you'll probably see one or two things in your community that you wish could change for the better. The good news is, positive change is possible because you can be a difference maker and change the world for the better. In our society today, most people are sitting on their hands, waiting for someone else to solve the problems they see. They wait and hope for the government, religious institutions, or the media to do something. They want change but hope and pray that someone somewhere will make it happen. The truth is, sitting around and waiting for change to happen isn't a wise idea. If we want the world to change for the better, we need to change. We need to take action. You don't have to be rich. You don't have to be famous. And you don't need to have a fancy title. You can transform the world around you. But for that to happen, you need to change. We're likely to end up where we are headed if we don't change the direction we're going. Lao Tzu First, you need to change your way of thinking. You need to challenge your preconceived notions. You must stop assuming you can't or shouldn't try to change your world and start believing you can and should. You believe that no matter who you are, where you are, and with whatever you have, you can do something to make a change. Once you've had a shift in mindset, you can then harness your hope. According to John Maxwell and Rob Hoskins, active hope is essential for changing the world. It's not enough to be just optimistic. You must be a person of hope for yourself, others, and a better future. When you're hopeful, your hope will fuel urgency, which will in turn feed your desire for a change and inspire the courage you need to take the first step in the right direction. In the following sections of this summary, you will learn how you can move from a place of thinking about transforming the world to actually doing it. You will also discover how to create values that are in line with your goals. Chapter 2. Positive Change doesn't just happen. A catalyst must facilitate it. Before a positive change can come about in the world, someone somewhere must take responsibility for changing themselves and take action to help others change. Change cannot happen without the effort of some person, without the action of a catalyst for change. To change your world, authors say that a catalyst of change is someone who creates positive change in their world through their ideas, actions, and influence. If we want to see a change in the world, we must be the catalyst that facilitates it. As far as changing our world is concerned, the first person transformed is the agent of change, the catalyst, and then it expands. For that to happen, it has to start with an individual. The people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are usually the ones who do. Steve Jobs So how do you become a catalyst for change? Here are some ways you can get started. First, move from good intentions to good action. We often tell ourselves, I'm going to do this tomorrow. But when tomorrow comes, there's a very high chance that we won't follow through. Good intentions are not enough to change the world. You have to shift your focus to good actions. As a catalyst for change, you create the future you want by following through on your intentions. Good actions represent the dividing line between words and results. John C. Maxwell Secondly, focus on what you can do. Ask yourself, what do I do that consistently makes a positive impact? Whatever your answer is, that should be your focus. Four main things will influence your impact on the world. The things you're passionate about, your gifts, your opportunities, the successes you achieved in the past. Think about what these are for you, then try to figure out how they add up. Lastly, invite other people to join the cause by recruiting like-minded people to help you bring your vision to life. You can start with the people in your inner circle, your friends and family members. Talk to them about your cause. Share your passion with them. Ask them what they think. Invite them to improve your ideas. And ask if it is something you can do together. Did you know? Knowing what to focus on is vital for your success in life because the things that are always on your mind shape how you see yourself and impact your future. Chapter 3 Great things happen when you team up with the right people. As you work to become a catalyst of change on any scale, always bear in mind that things go at a much faster pace when you work with others to accomplish your vision. In fact, the greater the vision and the tougher the cause, the more people you need to work with you to achieve it. Of course, you can single-handedly make a difference in the world. If the work you're doing to make a change starts to grow, however, you'll need other people to work alongside you to keep it going and even improve it. And if you're leading that group of people, you must understand that the team and the change they are creating are essential to realizing success. We all need one another, and great things happen when people work together on a common cause. When you work with others to achieve a common goal, the chances of success increase dramatically. If you want to change the world and be part of a transformation movement, you need to be willing to link up with others. In your effort to put a team together, however, you must be careful who you offer a seat on your boat. Many people will gladly take that seat with absolutely no intention of paddling the boat with you. They don't care about your cause, they just want to go along for the ride. The ride. If you fill up the boat, but only a few people are working hard to row it, you won't go far. Therefore, you must be highly selective when choosing your team. Only work with people who want to make a difference just like you. People who are passionate about the cause just as you are. When you partner with those who share your values, it makes all the difference in the world. As you build your team, start, as discoursed in the previous section, by connecting with people you know well. Once you've chosen the right members from your close friends and family, you can then widen your scope to outsiders and keep making different connections until you have the right people on board. Chapter 4 
To make a difference in your world, you have to embrace and practice good values. As soon as other people start working with you and are influenced by what you're doing, you become a leader. And as a leader, the cause you're working towards, your vision for a better future, must be based on sound values. If we want to change our world, we need to climb the ladder of good values. Rob Hoskins. Your values are what determine your behavior and decisions. Cultivating good values will positively impact your life and that of those around you. People are always willing to trust and follow leaders whose good values reflect in their behaviors. Moreover, nothing impacts our lives more than our values. Good values allow you to help others and care for them. What's more incredible about good values is that it does not matter who you are or where you're from. No matter where you're born, how talented or intelligent you are, or how you were brought up, you can learn, embrace, and practice good morals. It's your choice. When it comes to values, the choice is the difference maker because choosing makes change possible. So how do you know whether a value is good? One golden standard a good value must meet is that it must value people. All people, all the time, in all situations. No exceptions. If it values people, then it's a positive value and it's worth embracing. It's not a good value if it devalues people in any way. There are a few things in life more important than valuing people. John C. Maxwell. Good values must also be personal. According to Bill Perkins, author of the book Awaken the Leader Within, a value is simply an internal principle that guides your decision. If you want to change your world, you must internalize good values. You cannot change anything outside of you if you don't change yourself first. Only transformed people transform communities. Positive transformation results from living out your values in a time when everything around you seems to be changing. Your values will not only help you live better, but they'll also help you stay true to yourself. Your values determine what you do, why you do it, and how you do it. So if you want your life to be stable, your values must be honorable. Chapter 5. Use transformation tables as an avenue to bring people together to affect change. If you want to change your world, if you want to help people transform their lives, John C. Maxwell says you are going to need a transformation table. You will need to learn to gather small groups around a table and get them talking about good values and how these values can be applied to their everyday lives. A transformation table doesn't need to start with a bunch of people. In fact, it can start with just you. A movement can be started by just one person. You don't even need to be rich or have a degree or a title. No matter where you are or who you are, you can start using transformation tables to change your world. All you need to do is to be able to answer these questions. Will your community get better if you improve yourself? Will others want to become better? If you answered yes to these questions, you're ready to get things going, and you can start with as few as three people. Just invite two others to the table. Commit to growing together. Identify what you want to change and get started. Common ground is an essential element in harnessing the tremendous power of human interaction. It is where trust is formed, relationships are built, and progress begins. Transformation tables provide common ground for people. They facilitate growth by offering a place and time for people to gather for a common purpose. When like-minded people gather together, the potential for connection and motivation is great. Most importantly, through a round table process, transformation gatherings help create a connection between self-awareness and application for people. Here is how the process goes. First, when participants gather at a transformation table, they learn about a good value, what it is, how they can benefit from it, how it can positively impact others, and how it can improve their world. Next, everyone in the group is asked to examine themselves in light of what they've just learned. They're asked to evaluate themselves on a scale of 1 to 5 and share that self-assessment with the other members of the group. Once everyone in the group has shared where they need to grow, they're asked to state what action they need to take to start changing and growing in that area and how they'll follow through with it in the coming week. When everyone gathers, they ask one another to share whether or not they followed through. By doing this, everyone holds one another accountable. It is through these deliberate actions that change becomes permanent. Repeated application by each member of the group enhances their improvement. Chapter 6 For your effort to yield the result you desire, you must measure what you are doing. When it comes to helping people in organizing nonprofit services, many people judge their effectiveness based on how their efforts make them feel rather than on results. That's no way to change the world. For you to turn a transformational idea into something that can change your world, you have to measure it. What gets measured gets done. The principle of measurement is a time-tested one and it is universal. It helps to identify and support the best practices at the heart of every successful transformative project. So how do you measure transformation? One way to track and measure positive change is by using the process Rob Hoskins calls the five Ds. Discover, design, deploy, document, dream. Let's take a detailed look at each of the components. Number one, discover. Take a look at what you are doing and figure out what is working, what isn't, and what to do better. Knowing the reality of the problem you're trying to solve or how to help the people you're trying to serve allows you to chart your next steps accordingly. Number two, design. Now that you know where you are, start planning how to get where you want to go. Develop a strategy that starts with the end in mind and builds on your strengths. Number three, deploy. Once you have created your plan of action, it's time to deploy. Start implementing some of the things you've discovered and designed. Start small and adjust your strategy along the line as needed. Number four, document. 
Record the results of your activity to ensure everything you do is contributing to the outcomes you desire. Number five, dream. Documenting your progress would have helped you figure out where you're succeeding and where you're failing. Once you have this information, it's time to dream bigger and better by refining your work. Your progress will motivate you to go through the cycle again, but this time with much bigger goals in mind. It is worth noting that this process is a continuous one, and it works on any scale from small to large. Once you've pinpointed a problem that needs solving, take it through the 5Ds procedure. You can repeat this cycle anytime you need to scale and grow an idea. As you continuously apply the process, you'll start to see that your efforts are making a major impact through your records and others' accounts of how your work is changing their lives. Conclusion If you look around, you'll likely see something that you wish could change for the better. The good news is, positive changes are possible, and you can play your part in making the world a better place. The initial step is to stop thinking about transformation and start acting to make it happen. It's not enough to just have good intentions. You must work towards accomplishing what it is you desire. Don't wait for someone else to solve the problems around you. Nothing of essence can come from sitting around and waiting for change to happen. If we want the world to change for the better, we need to change. We need to take action. Transformation cannot happen if someone is unwilling to take responsibility for changing themselves and take action to help others grow. So start seeing yourself as an arbiter of change and be ready to work with others to achieve your goals. The greater your vision and the more challenging the cause you champion, the more people you need to team up with because your chances of success increase when you team up with the right people. Furthermore, you must embrace and practice good values if you want to make a difference in the world. People will trust you and willingly follow you if your behaviors reflect that you have good values. So you must internalize good values if you want to be an agent of transformation. Lastly, measure your progress. There's a saying that what gets measured gets done. As you bring people together to work with you to affect change, make sure you track your progress regularly. This will keep you focused on the things you need to do to manifest your goals. Try this. Identify something in your life or around you that you want to change. Make a definite plan and set a goal to make that change happen. Next, cultivate values that align with your goals. Once you've done this, break down the goal into systemic, manageable baby steps and start working on them one at a time. Remember, big things start with small beginnings. Document your progress and celebrate your small wins as you achieve each step towards your ultimate goal.